Hi, Libby. Hello. So, um, you've had your first exhibition tonight. How's it gone? It's been brilliant. It's been gone really, really, well, really well. Um, lots more people than I expected turned up, and there's been lots of positive feedback. Yes, there was a phenomenal amount of people here. Um, I've been to a few exhibitions here, and it, this was very um, well attended. Would you like to talk a little bit about what the exhibition's about? Um, the main exhibition is The Invisible Mother, which is behind us. And it represents, they're self-portraits, and they're representing all the different roles that mothers do. Um, from bath times, to cooking, to beach, to cuddles. And it's called The Invisible Mom because all mums do these and it's kind of not noticed. It's so it's such an accepted part of life that mums provide all these jobs and do all these roles. So um, the school mum on the wall, school one, and she's got bags and PE kits and footballs and violins and everyone drives and walks past these mums in the mornings and you kind of don't notice them, they're just part of the background. And mums give up a lot of their lives doing these roles and they don't think about when they're doing them because I didn't think about it because it's just something you do for your children, you love your children, you try to provide all these things. But when you forget something, or a packed lunch, or a PE kit, and then you're suddenly really quickly a bad mum, and society's really, really, really judge, quick to judge if you don't meet the client standards, even though you've got everything else right. So it's partly about this. It's also my young, I've got eight children. My youngest is now nine. And so the, all these roles I've done have almost become a mask because I'm Sansa's mum. And I'll, I'll see people for years, and they know me as Finley's mum or Tabby's mum. And they don't know my name. And it doesn't matter. I'm just the, the, the mother role figure. It's, um, so, for example, bath time mum. I've, done, I've sat in the bath for years, called them a bath, making sure they don't drown each other, drown themselves, combing their hair, putting conditioner in. And suddenly, I don't do that anymore, and I've lost this role. And as my youngest child's getting older, my roles are going... So this identity that I've built over 30 years is kind of being eroded. Right. So it's part of it of, of what, what I'm going to become, who I am, as all these roles go, and I'm not a mother in the same way. Bye, Bye. thank you for coming. <laughs> um, so I'm still, I'll always be a mother, but I'm not doing these roles. So it's about me now, it's a new stage of my life, and I've got to find out who the real me is. Yeah, um, I understand that. Um, so what's the other bits of the exhibition saying then? On the opposite side of the wall is some stuff that I did for my BA because this has been done partly for children in need. Oh. So we've got mother on one side. And without um, To be a mother you need to have had a child and to be a child you need to have a mother. So we've got the child on the opposite side. Um, and there's from two different exhibitions there. There's one is the um, Once Upon a Time which is the storybook images, and they're, um, my daughter, they're composite images of my daughter inside one of her doll's houses. And the idea behind them is this myth that childhood is the freest time you have. Yeah, before, my, before children are born, people know it's a girl or boy. They buy the clothes, they decorate the room. The kids go to the nursery, they pick their friends. You know, you can have Sansa for tea, or you can have Sansa for a play date. Um, and every tiny bit of their day is micromanaged. And I thought, a really young child, in a way, is almost like having a doll. You dress them, you do this, you do everything for them. Mm. So I was watching my daughter play with the doll's house, and it sort of, this whole idea came together. So um, I've comped her into a doll's house. And the images here are from a set of 12 images, and they play through a, a story of a day. So it's kind of a photo story of a day. But in all of them, she's living the life as I've written for her. Trapped in doll's house. Well, that's an interesting, <laughs> interesting. I love how your mind works. <laughs> and you have a third sort yeah, of theme. Yeah, the third one up there um, is one called The Magic of Childhood for two, from 2016. And again, it's about children's life. This is from the perspective of a child. Uh, when I take my children to the park, um, you go to go head for the swings and they go and play in the bushes. 
and they have dens or castles or fairy tales. And my youngest daughter used to talk to the statues and had stories about them and names. And the kids see all this stuff that you don't and everything's new and fresh to them. And as adults, you become a bit jaded and you walk through places even not seeing really what's there. So I purposely took these all at the local park, all the infrared had done at Stanley Park in Blackpool. Um, I had a camera converted to infrared. I had a specialist conversion on because I wanted particular colours. Um, so they're not photoshopped. They're straight out of camera shots. Right, yeah. So they're shown a reality, but a different version of reality. Yes. Um, so there's pictures of the children looking through bushes as a den. There's one of the pictures um, of the child by the clock tower. You know the clock tower in the centre of the park? Yeah. Because time's an adult concept. Yeah. When children are born, I feed them every four hours, make sure they sleep this many hours, they have to get up at this time, they have to go to bed at that time. What is that to a child? So the clock tower, one of the huge clock tower looming over her, is, is just this adult thing that's enforced on a child. Right. There's another one where the path splits, and that's about choices. Good child, bad child. As a little child, what, what's right and what's wrong? And why does it change? Why can you do certain things at home, but if you were going to say grandma's house, you wouldn't do it? So that's about choices. So they've all got, they're all modern photographs, but they're all taken from the traditional art, the concepts and the ideas. Yeah. So, shall we um, just have a look at some of these yeah, other sure. art pieces? So this is the one that we've just been talking about. Yeah, this is the one with the two paths. It's where... And that's the one with the clock, with time looming over them, above it. Sunny Day Beach ones. I don't know whether it's the light, but um, it keeps changing focus. Yes. Um, I'm just going to give a quick um, look at this and then just end it. All right, let's say bye. Bye-bye, thank you.